Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm standing up on the village green at Hartford Heath. This is a small village above the county town of Hertfordshire, Hartford. So Hartford is a couple of miles down the hill. It's very pleasant up here. Now the reason I've come up here is because today we're doing another episode of Miniature Railway Britain. What we're doing today is we're going to a railway we have already featured before, but I was out this way, so I thought it'd be nice to visit again. We're going to the East Hearts Miniature Railway, so that was why I thought it'd be quite fun to include Hartford, but not the actual town itself, Hartford Heath. And it should be quite a nice walk down the hill to Great Amwell, where the Miniature Railway is situated. And I thought after that, we'll continue walking, so I'm gonna do quite a long walk today down to the railway line. Um, that goes to Hartford East, but I probably won't actually go to Hartford East on the train. I just thought I'd make a, a nice day's walk out of it. So this is Hartford Heath, very pleasant place. I'm going to continue down to the end of this road because um, this is where I believe there's a footpath at the end of this road, which will take me down to Great Amwell. So let's go down to the garden centre and find the East Hearts Miniature Railway. Well, I reached the end of Hartford Heath Village at Mount Pleasant Road. I've come down into the woods now, I'm following this path down. It's a rather pleasant path, it's turned into a bit like a sort of old drover's track lined with hornbeam trees. In fact all the trees, or most of the trees should I say, in the woods seem to be hornbeams. You get the odd large oak tree standing tall above us. So this, this path is becoming quite exciting. It looks to me like it's possibly some old drover's track as it bends around the corner here and descends slightly lower than the woodland and um, so I'm just going to follow this all the way down what's probably some ancient way down to the village of Great Amwell and then that's where we're going to go and find the East Hearts Miniature Railway. Now making my way through the flower pots and the sundials of the Van Hay Garden Centre here at Great Amwell. I just heard a horn of a train and that's what we're going to look for. So we're going to find the East Hearts Miniature Railway which is just here at the back of the garden centre. So it says to the trains, fair one pound. So let's go and find the trains and have a look at It's a very nice miniature railway. Like I said, have been here before. It's um, it has like the feeling of taking you for a ride around the garden, and its scenery is very attractive. So when we get to here, we have a station, Amwell Junction signal box. Oh, no, this is interesting. When we last came here. We got on the train and we went round the circuit. It's like a folded in half figure of eight. We went round clockwise, but today they're going anti-clockwise. So this video, we're gonna see it in the opposite direction to what we saw when we came here 18 months ago. So let's just watch the train go past. It's, well, I'll tell you in a moment, just watch it go past. Well, that loco, what I like about it is, well, it's called Lady Amwell because we're here in Great Amwell. It's a miniature of one of the Rysip Lido locos. So the Rysip Lido locos are, you know, they're, well, they're, they're full size for the size they are for the 12 inch gauge railway, but that's a miniature one of them. So it's, a, it's like a miniature of a narrow gauge loco, but it's a real one. Um, so I think that's quite cool. I think now what we should do is go and have a ride on the East Hearts Miniature Railway.
Yeah, oh, at least I get a run fast. I enjoyed my trip on the train here, the East Arts Miniature Railway. And the railway has very kindly given me a visitor badge and given me permission to take you line side and have a look at the shed. So what we'll do, we shall go for a little walk. The train we're on is out on the system somewhere. Oh, she's actually just there by the scissors crossover. I mean, the station, still now past the station on the avoiding line. So yeah, they said I can have a walk around line side and the sheds obviously keep away from any trains so this will be a safe distance so we'll see this train pass we'll have a look at the end to see what's on the shed and then we'll we'll go for a walk so they've got some very nice gardens here which this railway travels around let's just watch the train go past again the one we were traveling on a moment ago So the train goes off, let's just have a look at, we've got this interesting looking Poco here. So, um, Lee, Lee Endeavour, and it looks like you can actually sit right inside. I always quite like seven and a quarter locos that you can sit inside, because you can't always, a lot of them because they're miniature, but that's more like a, a bit like um, what we travelled on a miniature narrow gauge, although the driver kind of does sit in, but with his head out. Let's go along here. We'll go across this little crossing here and then we shall go into the garden. So we'll go across here. The grass has been freshly mown this morning. So, the, um, so as I said, it's basically a folded in half figure of eight, but it's also two independent circuits. 
So you can clearly see the two run together. Here one goes for a tunnel, one goes for a cutting. If we go up onto the bank above the cutting, you get quite a nice view of the whole system. I think it's a really nice, it really feels like you're in someone's garden. And so, you know, as we've seen from certain miniature railways, um, it doesn't really matter how big your garden is. Most of the time you can have a miniature railway, but if you've got a garden of this size, then this is the sort of thing you can do. So we've got the station over there, and um, the gardens here, the tunnel down there. There's a bit I really like, it's a nice path. So um, we should go to here. There's like a little stream of a lighthouse. Um, I wouldn't quite call this a model village, but it's nice to see a model building, a lighthouse up here. And the stream trickles off down there, down to the big pond, which um, as we saw, the train goes over a bridge over. So there's another view of the station just there. Now where am I going to? Uh, we'll walk along beside the station, we've got this path up here. And we come to, that's the lighthouse where we were a moment ago, here's the stream. There's a bridge here over the stream. There's like a little branch line there to, well, a siding I suppose more than the branch line, to like an old mine or something. So the, the stream, goes off down there into the big pond. So we'll cross the track again here, make sure nothing's coming. Here we are, there's, there's the bridge. Built in 1980, that bridge, over the big pond, which has fish in it. Go around here, that's the end of the tunnel and their sheds. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna hang around here, I think. Do a bit of line siding, just, we'll just watch some trains go past, because that's um, always what's good fun. As much as I enjoy riding the trains, I do like to see them pass. So we'll do some line siding. Um, one other thing I'm going to show you while we're here, some bit of the signalling. I'll do a bit down, do some line siding. And then I'm going to make my way down to the Lee Valley and find uh, the main line, just because it'll be a fun thing to do. Although I, as I, I drove just to see how easy it'd be if you wanted to come by train. So when we were on the train, we stopped here. And as you can see, there's a signal gantry. Currently, both signals are red. So what happens is when the train is on the outer circuit, it'll be stopped here if there's a train due on the inner circuit going into the station. So that was why we had to wait. And then when we were on the inner circuit, we saw the other train stopped here on the outer circuit. So that's why, that, that's why we got stopped there. But at least we could watch the cricket match while we were sitting there. So I'm gonna sit here, watch the cricket match, wait and see some trains.
Uh, following having a lot of fun at the East Hearts Mitch Railway, just come down to Great Amwell Church. Great Amwell is the village where the railway is situated. And we're going to go down here to the New River. So, as I said, the park's at Hartford Heath. I've got quite a long walk ahead of me, so um, I'm going to walk along down to what's known as the New River, which is like a flat aqueduct supplying water to London. So it's not an aqueduct up in the air, it's an uh, aqueduct on the ground. So it looks more like a canal. So we go down these steps. I just thought, you know, it's a okay. It's not a railway, but it's a waterway, and it's quite fascinating. It runs along the Lee Valley, and the Lee Valley also has the Hartford East Railway line, which um, I'm also going to try and find. I'm going to try and see a train at some point, and maybe catch a glimpse of a class 317 in their final months of service. But we come down here. This is the New River. Now that island is um, looks quite interesting. I believe, oh yeah, there, there is, there's a monument on the island um, to, it slipped my name, but it's coming on screen now. So there you go, That's this is the new river. I'm gonna follow along what, you know, it looks very much like walking along a canal. If you looked at here, at here, you'd think, oh yeah, a canal. The thing that gives it away is it's not a canal, is not many boats are gonna fit under that bridge. Um, not even many canoes, I should think. So I'm going to follow this. I'm going to go and find the railway line. We're continuing along the New River, as it's called. Here is one of the pumping stations. Quite an impressive building. So if you was to... Um, sometimes when you get a train in northern parts of London, you'll see various of these Thank rivers. You which thank you. thank you, aren't canals, they're rivers, you will see them and alongside them you'll find pumping stations like this. So it's a really rather present walk. I know I say this quite a lot in my videos, I say oh perhaps in the future we'll do this or do that, maybe I'll add this to my list. I've always wanted to walk the whole of the River Lee, which as I said we are in the valley of the River Lee, starts up at Lee Grave on the Mid, which is stationed on the Midland Main Line, it flows through Luton, down through Wheat Hampstead, and then through um, Hartford and Ware. But it's spelled L E A, and then it changes to L E E, or the other way around, I can't remember which, but I think that's an interesting thing about River Lee. But the River Lee itself is somewhere over there, as is the railway line to Hartford East. So I'm going to continue along here. You can see how we're not actually down at the valley floor, we are going by the parallel road, we're a few feet above the valley. So I'm just going to continue until we get to St Margaret's. We've arrived at the village of Stansted St Margaret's. See on the village sign there, there's a picture of a steam loco. It looks like an N7 or an N2, which would have worked the Hartford East branch probably in the steam days. We're going to go along here now to the station. Whether we'll see a train or not, I don't know. i um, have to see if there's one due. But I said we'd finish with a full-size railway. Um, I'm probably... Well, I'm not getting the train, I know that. I've got to walk back to Hartford Heath, which is about three and a half miles away, so I've got quite a long walk ahead of me. It's been, been a good day. I've enjoyed this long walk. I've not been to this station before, so what I'm going to do is cross the road. So here is the level crossing. I don't think there'll be a train due just yet, because as I got here I could see a traffic jam. All the cars were stationary, so they started moving, so a train must have just come along. Um, but it's a new station for me. It's got quite a brutalist looking concrete bridge. Wow. So it looks as though the bridge is used for people who are not um, wanting to, to wait while the gates go down. You do sometimes get that when you come to these stations. So just there, here's the level crossing. As it says there, St Margaret's level crossing. Quite an attractive station. So let's go and have a look on the platform. So there's no ticket barrier, so I can just walk on and have a look. Um, oh, it's interesting. The old signal box survives just past this awning here. We'll walk past it and we'll have a look. That's quite a nice thing to see. And then, as I said, I'm gonna, I might hang around to see a train. Uh, next one's not for a while, okay. But look at this. We have the old signal box here at St Margaret's, so that's quite a nice feature to finish with if um, we don't get to see a train. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And if you'd like to visit the um, 
the East Hearts Metro Railway. It's quite easy to get to by car. If you're thinking of going by public transport, you're probably better getting off at Ware Station. You can walk along the New River, not the section I did, but a different section of the New River and up. it probably take you about 20 minutes to half an hour. So that's quite a pleasant walk to do. So from St Margaret Station, thank you very much to the East Hearts Metro Railway. I had a very good time there, really enjoyed it. And thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye.